Good afternoon, everyone. Record cold temperatures through northern parts of Canada must be one of the reasons why the Arctic has enough ice to block the global warming boat that was trying to show there was no ice up there. Areas in dark red are the ice they were not expecting that blocked the voyage. Story trying to show how the red knot is getting smaller due to increased Arctic temperatures, yet they show a perfectly healthy bird. Where are the shriveled birds that are underweight that this article is about? Pink snow. Actually, it's algae. That's a common occurrence, yet they're trying to purport this as being something rare. It's been sighted as long ago as 1818 with the original explorers in the British Admiralty going up in the Arctic surveying. List of record cold temperatures over the last couple of days in northeastern Canada. Unexpected in the warmest year ever. Also, global warming expedition stopped in its tracks by Arctic sea ice. The Polar Ocean Challenge needs to take a break because there's too much ice to circumnavigate the entire polar circle. Anywhere in the dark red, it's an abundance of ice, ice they were not expecting. The image of the ship here stuck in ice was last year in Antarctica when the global warming crowd went down to prove there was no ice. They got stuck and had to be rescued by helicopter. Interesting global news article, why the Arctic snow is turning pink and why it's a bad sign. They're purporting global warming all over the place, yet the temperatures in Toronto on June 23rd, the high of 35 Fahrenheit and the low of 21. I don't think that's normal. That's way below. The same writer also coming out with this article about warming Arctic, creating smaller migratory birds. They don't have enough food up there because the cycle when the eggs hatch and when the insects come out is not in sync any longer, yet they use a nice healthy bird for this picture. If it was such a well-studied phenomenon, where are the, all the pictures of these malnourished birds? You don't have any. I want to give a shout out here to Marsha Blackburn, representative from Tennessee. Actually some common sense in play here, admitting that the earth has begun to cool. Now, Marsha, I want to ask you a question. What's the mitigation plan for when the temperatures continue to cool? Is there a crop substitution policy in place? I highlighted in light blue at the very bottom. The light absorbing effect of the color will hasten glacier melt. Well, you know what? This whole 50 square meters of algae in the snow, they could probably chip some of that off put it in their glasses on the polar circumnavigating ship, have some drinks while they're waiting to be rescued from the sea ice. Where are the helicopter views of this vast expanse of albedo affecting red, pink algae snow all across Greenland? They show you 50 square meter photo and they try to shock you and scare you that ice is gonna melt off of Greenland. Close up here of the red algae, and if you're unfamiliar with algae, there's more than a million species. It's the most plentiful plant on our planet. And the amount of algae in the oceans produces more oxygen than all the rainforests combined. It's a naturally occurring plant that grows everywhere. I mean, it is an extremophile. You will find it in hot springs. You'll find it in snow and ice. It's so common, in fact, in snow that they found it on 21 different glaciers and they've actually taken samples here from the Potsdam Institute. And this is the wide out shot. This is all the pink snow that they have on Greenland to try to scare you. Darken the surface, the albedo, it's gonna thaw the ice faster. Everybody gets scared and pay your global taxes. These are minuscule pockets in the ice, yet this particular type of pink algae has been sighted since 1818 in the British Admiralty explorations of the Arctic Circle. This is nothing new. A bit closer view for you here. You can see these are hand-sized, literally hand-sized pockets of algae in the ice. And they try to shock you and say an entire mountain's covered with this on the Weather Channel. Yet when they do a close-up, there's a small penguin. That gives you a great 
depth of field there. And if it was covering the entire mountain, why is that not a wide angle shot showing the entire mountain covered in pink snow? Because that's all there is. Another few hundred square meters. And from the same writer in the same article claiming that June was the warmest year ever on record, yet we go to the satellite based temperatures and we can clearly see that that is not true. RSS and the University of Huntsville, Alabama both show temperatures down. And if I had Vegas odds, I really want to put a couple hundred bucks down on this bet in Vegas that this will not be the warmest year ever. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. This algae in the ice and snow is nothing abnormal. It's been cited for a couple of hundred years already, yet the new global warming agendas crowd tries to use this as some unusual twist in nature. It is not. Please consider supporting me over my Patreon channel. I'm going to keep videos like this rolling out daily for you.